Thinking about building a demo for your RAG project? Before you begin, let's talk about a better way to get results. Welcome to episode 41 in Prolego's Generative AI series. Today we're going to talk about why building a demo for your Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, project is a mistake and what you should be doing instead. Many teams kick off generative AI projects the same way they would a traditional software engineering project. They start with a demo to show users what the system might do. Now this makes sense when your user adoption is the biggest risk. But with LLMs, that's not the problem. The real challenge is getting the model to perform reliably and not make costly mistakes. So what's wrong with starting with a demo? When you build a chat interface on your data, users will ask a few questions, get some responses and say, this is cool. But that feedback is shallow. It doesn't give you the transparency you need into how your system actually performs. Here's a better approach. Instead of building a demo, generate a set of representative questions your users are likely to ask along with the desired answers. Run them through your application and compare the results with users. This process will surface real insights, risks, gaps, and improvement areas. This is a performance evaluation framework, a critical part of performance-driven development, or PDD. It gives you the transparency you need to understand your system's strengths and weaknesses so you can iterate and improve based on data, not subjective opinions. Check out our GitHub repository for more on PDD. Links are down in the show notes. If you found this useful, I hope you'll join the thousands of data analytics and AI professionals who subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. Now don't worry, this isn't the same irrelevant AI hype already filling your inbox and LinkedIn feed. Instead, we share assets used by the world's most successful companies like job descriptions, strategy templates, case studies, code samples, and more. Just visit prolego.com newsletter or click the link in the show notes.